our Pistons fans. So we're going to be going back to um, Detroit Pistons media day and we're going to cover some more of Jeremy Grant. Didn't really cover him too much when, you know, all of the media day interviews first came out. But since the season is over, not much news coming out right now. I feel like it's a perfect time to cover Grant again. And Grant is going to be speaking on his current status with the Detroit Pistons and everything that we did as a team this year. But before we get into all of that, please make sure you guys like this video. Today's like goal is 200 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I drop consistent Pistons content. Now play the intro. Subscribe to Joe Polo 10. Okay, so Grant, he's currently 28 years old. He's about six feet eight, around 210 pounds. And this season for the Pistons, he averaged 20 points per game, four rebounds per game, and two assists while shooting 35% from the three-point line. So I'm gonna play the clip here for you guys so that you can hear everything that Grant has to say. Go ahead, guys. You know what I mean? When a, a team doesn't win a lot in the wins and loss columns, you you often hear about why things weren't going right, but it seems like you guys, as the season got on, got better, got stronger. What do you think that why that was? Corey said he couldn't really put a finger on it. He said you guys just played Boston, played better basketball, and then it, it continued. Is there anything that sticks out to you? Uh, I think experience. I think uh, when you got a young team like what we got, uh, at the beginning of the season, it's going to be difficult, you know, to to gel. I mean, a new team and a young team all in one. I think it's going to be difficult. And I think uh, we had a, a ton of injuries. I think towards the end, like right before our star break when we played Boston, like you said, it's kind of when we got our team back. And uh, since then, I think we 500 or somewhere around there. So um, now nah, I think the, the young guys got a lot of experience on their belts and, uh, and, and grew. So. And last year, obviously, you came in the situation and had a different role and learned. You talked about how much you learned about yourself as a player. Did you learn anything this year? Um, just coming back in year two and as you guys build for the future, adding different pieces and things like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, more of the same. Um, still got a lot that I, you know, want to continue to work on, you know, being more efficient uh, and uh, being a better leader and everything. And I think uh, I grew in those roles a little bit this year, uh, especially towards the end. Uh, you know, I had an uh, issue with my thumb and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we all kind of grew a little bit this year. For you, just uh, and you got back on track a little bit after you came back from the bum injury. But how difficult was it to deal with that? Kind of after the month of the season, that team trying to figure things out, and then you got to sit out uh, about a month and a half or so. Uh, definitely, definitely difficult. Um, being out for for an extended period of time like that, but uh, it's part of the game, you know. It's part of the game. Uh, had to learn from it, and uh, when I got back, I had to had to. Uh, get acclimated and assimilate back to the team. So. And when you came back, um, I forget the exact number, but particularly lineups with you, Kane, and Sadiq were one of the better three-man groups in the NBA. Did it just take time for that uh, synergy to come, just given that you guys spent so little time together early on in the season? Uh, definitely. Uh, Kane was out at the beginning of the season, um, so we weren't really playing with him. Um, and then I went out. Sadiq's been here, uh, been been in every game, um, starting every game this year. But uh, yeah, I think when I got back, it was the first time we all really got to really play together. Maybe we had a few games before I went out, but um, yeah, I think um, being on the court together, we, we kind of got a feel for each other. Uh, we got a couple games on our belt, and then you know we started playing well. So. While while you we were obviously sort of really hit a stride, and, and it was a different team that you came back to. Was it? Was there an adjustment for you after the adjustment you made last year of being that guy who always had the ball, you know, late shot clock, that type of thing? So then when, when Kate had the ball in his hands, was there was there an, another adjustment for you? And, and what was the what was the process of going through that? Uh, every game is adjustment. I think um, I'm always making adjustments. Uh, I love winning. I love playing winning basketball. So whatever the team needs me to do to win, that's that's what I'm going to do. It feels like there's an overall optimism for the future for this team to really take a bigger step next year. How do you assess how quickly that can be done, and, and why do you think that's going to be the case? Uh, yeah, no, we have we have a potential to be be good. Um, it's 
a big off season for us. Everybody got to get in the gym and work. Um, yeah, I think internally we know uh, what we can be. We have a ton of talent, but at the same time, you got to put the work in. And uh, we didn't win many games that this year, so next year will be better um, for sure. Um, um, but um, yeah, we just got to move forward in that direction. How impressive is the, the development that you've seen from uh, the, the first year guys last year and the SDK this year, and you see that core along with you and the, the other veterans, that it, it really is starting to click and come together. And you, you talked about how that was towards the end of the season, but going into the next year, that same, looking at what the internal improvements can be and what that could look like for this year. For sure. Um, we just got to carry on, uh, like you said, what we, what we did at the end of this year. I think um, the guys have been great. I mean, Sadiq. Um, him going from what he did last year, which was great, to what he did this year, which was that much better. Uh, Isaiah playing incredible. Killian got a lot better this year. Um, and you can see uh, the rookies' progression this year as well, uh, the, the way K started playing uh, better and better throughout the season. So, um, I mean, just going forward, I mean, we just got to keep getting better. Um, yeah, we'll be fine. Jeremy, you've been in different situations throughout your career with different teams, but for this group to have, you guys as a team could have kind of punted after the deadline with how things were going, but you guys ended up playing your best basketball. Does that say a lot to you about, I know that was Troy and Dwayne were two of the reasons you came here, but just what's being built here, just internally in the belief um, in, in what you guys can do, does that say a lot? Uh, definitely, definitely says a lot. Um, we got a resilient group of guys, uh, play extremely hard, work extremely hard, and uh, and yeah, I mean, they want to win, you know. So, um, like like I mentioned earlier, it's always adjustments to be made, and I think uh, everyone made the adjustments, uh, especially later in the season. So there are a lot of people who um, still think that it's a possibility that Grant could get traded, and if we decide not to trade him, I am curious to see, you know, what type of position that he's going to be in next season, especially with the Pistons um, likely bringing in another power forward coming from the draft, either Chet, Jabari, or Paolo. So I am curious to see how that whole dynamic will play out, and then also if we re-sign Marvin Bagley, I'm definitely curious to see if Grant comes back, how everything will match up next year. And Grant right now, he's at the peak of his career, and coming into next season, he should be well rested because towards the end of this season, we decided to just shut him down and tank towards the end. And then also he got injured um, during the middle of the season. So next year, Grant should be on completely fresh legs and ready to play basketball. Now, he could be a little rusty, but physically, he should be at his peak. Um, Pistons fans, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 5K, and I'm out.